All right. Uh, Animal Crossing text. Blah, blah, blah. On one twenty-three, blah blah blah. Huh? No, actually. I got a call from work, and it was Rana. She was like, "You're she's like, Danny, where are you? I have you down from eight to four. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I called her back, and I was like, "I thought I had the day off." And she's like, "Oh yeah, you do. My bad." <laughs> That's one hell of a way to give you a heart attack. I was. Is that why you hopped in the shower? What? Is that why you hopped in the shower? No, uh, no, I, sh I showered. She called me while I was in the shower, so I told her back as soon as I got out. Yo, someone else says hello, what's up? I was like, yeah, I know. Did I fuck up already? Yeah, did I fuck up already? Just take some KB commented nice on our uh, one of our Sky Factory videos. That's nice. Thanks, thanks, man. We actually rather enjoy playing Sky Factory. I know it doesn't get a lot of views, and I'm totally fine with that. It's just something that, you know, me and Haley do together as a couple, so. Same thing with Dark Souls. Like, Dark Souls doesn't necessarily get a lot of views, and that's fine. I don't, I don't mind that. It's just like, it's just something that we do together as a couple. And it's weird, like, oh, you guys play Dark Souls as a couple? Doesn't that do, like, stress to your relationship? Fuck yeah, it does. But... <laughs> yeah, we uh, we just we just do it just cuz That's just what we do as a couple together, you know Yeah, we are we, we both are fucking nerds That means two things So I was, um, I was watching a podcast a long time ago and, uh, this one guy, he, uh, was talking about his wife and his daughter and this is like right when ASMR like first came out and people are just like, oh, that's fucking weird. Right. And so somebody in the podcast is just like, it's like, does it's like, isn't your, isn't your, uh, wife and daughter into that? And he just goes. My wife and daughter are fucking weirdos. And then somebody's just like, that could mean a whole lot of things. Do you want to clarify that? And he just goes, yeah, they're weird. It's <laughs> like, listen, your wife, okay, cool. But like, I think his daughter at the time might have been like 11, you know, or something like that. I was like, yeah, you might want to clarify that because that, you don't want to say that about your daughter. They're fucking weirdos. Yeah, they're fucking weirdos. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's the flea market. Okay, cool. So that I didn't know the flea market was, you know, right now. All right. So let's go ahead and go find uh, what's her face. Yeah, let's get Joan. Just plucking some weeds. Also, I could go fishing, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't want to do that because I'm still stressed out from last night. Oh yeah. I also need to go to Blight Town today in Dark Souls, so I'm not looking, I'm not looking forward to that, but at the same time, I'm going to get a bunch of more pyromancies. Going to get the Great Combustion, which I actually think is going to be really good for uh, Smell and Orsine. They don't okay listen, I know in Dark Souls they have the they have the magic sword, they have the flame sword, the the what is it, the I think it's the the Karthus flame arc or some shit like that. Do they have the flame sword uh pyromancy in Dark Souls 1? And if so, does what's her face have it? You I know we we both said that she had great combustion, so that's nice. But A flame whip pyromancy? Yeah. They have that in Dark Souls 3 and it's not that good. Fireball. Fire orb. Great fireball. Firestorm. The great fireball. Yes. Fire tempest. Combustion. Great combustion. Fire whip. And something called undead report. What the fuck is undead report? I mean, some of those already have. You can have them just to have them again. 
Right, yeah, and I was just like, oh, because okay. in Dark Souls 3, like, if you have multiple spells, why would you do that? Because there's the magic meter. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh shit, so, if I wanted more fireballs, just go buy, you know, because they give you the one to start, you know? Okay, I'm dead for four, so I'm charmed on dead with pursue and attack enemies within the aggro range, oh, cool. So I can turn enemies on each other. Yeah, not all of them, but like, right. it seems like a good chunk of them out the list. Yeah, it would be nice if I can get Smile and Ornstein to do that, but there's no fucking way. I tried that in um I tried that in Dark Souls 3 on the uh the those demon twins. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. That would be nice on double bosses like that. That would be really, really, really nice, but Yeah, it's something No, I know. I'm just saying it, it would be nice. In Bloodborne, there's these big ass enemies at the bottom of the well. And you can use there's a knife you can throw, so that does the same thing. There's a knife that you throw. They had that in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah, if you throw it enough, it'll like They uh they had a poison dart that did that in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. It was the uh the poison hallucinogenic dart and it's it was fucking great. It was one of my all time favorite weapons in that game. Oh, Vesta's not home. Shit. Vesta had some shit that I wanted to buy at the flea market. Damn it, now I need Vesta to go home. Either that or I could turn the game off and, you know, restart it. Alright. Alright, I'd like to sell a bunch of shit, please. Oh yeah, I need to keep that poncho. Because I'm trying to talk to Poncho and give him... I have a Poncho that I want to give to Poncho, but he won't, um, he won't wear it. Also, I need to get some medicine for Pearl. Because apparently Pearl's still sick. Holy shit, that is a giant-ass panda. Honey. The Papa Panda. Alright. I'm keeping that panda. Wait, what did you snatch? Oh, you snatched the kitty? Aw. Yeah, look at the little toe beans. Dust kitty, the toe beans. You gotta love the toe beans. The little baby beans. Oh. I love it when her eyes get like super wide, or she's just like, or... it's adorable. She's just like, what is that? The wide-eyed curiosity of a kitten. Oh yeah, totally. You gotta love the kitty. If you don't love the kitty, who do you, who else do you love? Alright, so I got that panda. That is a giant ass panda.
Oh shit, oops. I forgot to go get my points. I need a shit ton of points. I did the math, I need to spend like $600,000 to get the points that I need to reach platinum. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where the fuck is Joan? Oh hey, here's another dig spot. Oh, it's a pitfall, fuck, all right. I kind of wish I would have fell into that. Cause now I need to get rid of it. Okay, so I have an hour to find Joan, but at the same time, it's just like, is she gonna sell me her shit or is she not? Yeah, yeah, pitfall seed. Dude, I just throw those in the recycling bin, man. Oh, the kitty's stepping on the keyboard. Oh, she just- okay, so she just mashed on the space bar. Is this Poncho's house? It is Poncho's house. Oh wait, I don't have that Poncho though, shit. I put- I, I took that Poncho out of my pocket so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. Alright. Well, today is the flea market, so... Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. What was that thing that the cat knocked over this last night? Oh, yeah. I Oh, she's got the, uh, her little catnip toy. Oh, that could have been too. Oh, damn it. You know what? It could, that could have been it. I might have picked it up and just threw it on the floor. Oh, damn it! Oh, okay, now I need to waste the medicine. Well, because now people won't talk to me because I got a bee sting on my face, so I have to waste the medicine. Medicine, which, by the way, I have to give to Pearl because she's sick. The only people that will talk to me are special NPCs like Joan, which I have still yet to find her, and I really need to poop really bad. Uh, uh. Oh, that's a very good question. One that I cannot have answer. <clears throat> Oh, shit, where the fuck is she? Yes, the bees are very rude, by the way. I, I saw your comment. Oh, shit. All right, well. Oops. All right. Oh, there she is. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. All right, I haven't time traveled in a very long time. Oh, yes, thank God. Ugh. I'll take one, please. Ugh. I remember when I was younger, it took me forever to finally catch a bee. Dude, I mean, they're a great way to farm money. Yeah, you're gonna get stung a lot, but... All right, really quick, I'm gonna go poop real quick. All right, hold on one sec.
Oh man, okay, I pooped. Alright. Oh, oh, I feel 20 pounds lighter, holy shit. Jesus, okay, alright. Wow, dude, someone else, I like your, I like your, uh, string of comments. That's actually really fucking funny. It's a smiley face, a shirt, and a pants. What's next? A pair of shoes? I didn't even know they had those emojis. Okay, so she's selling regular ass turnips for 91. Do I just buy a stack? Yeah, no, I just that just leaves me little room for margin. Uh, oh, oops, that's not that's not what I wanted to open. I wanted to open the Animal Crossing text documents and writes that turnips on one twenty three. Wow, that's actually really cool. One twenty three. All right, ninety one. Got it. Okay. Sell them in bunches of ten. So that would give me that would give me a hundred turnips. You know what? No, fuck this. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy two. Two hundred turnips. You want twenty. I'll buy. I always forget how the turnips work, so I'm gonna open my inventory. Ah, uh, there you go. The, okay, so the head, the shirt, the shoes. Nice, dude. Thanks, someone else. Oh, that's not at all how that works. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, so then I fucked up. I need to hit I need to hit the uh, the word 8. Or the number 8. I'm buying. 8. Okay, cool. And it stacks and things of 10, so that's 100 turnips. Awesome. And I did say I wanted two stacks, so you know what? Okay, so now I gotta hit. I do need to get rid of my money somehow. One, zero. Alright. <coughs> like, I don't want to get greedy. Because, like, I know what happens when I get greedy as I get fucked. So... brief period of time where old people thought that the shit emoji was chocolate ice cream. Do you remember that? That was a gold that was the golden time of texting. The what blanket? Oh the cuddle blanket. Oh I want some cuddles. Oh, the avocado blanket. Aww. Do we just get like the most precious little baby ever? So precious. Do you remember that first few days when we got her, she was like super sketchy and she's just like, I don't know what any of this is. I'm like, to be fair, new house, you know, a, a, an animal that young. I mean, she got warmed up to make her quickly. Right. Well, that's because you're the one that brought her home. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't she like grow up in a house without stairs? I went into the basement one time because. What? Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. Alright. 
I don't know. Alright, so let's grab this poncho real quick. I'm gonna go talk to Poncho because I want I want Poncho to um I want Poncho to wear this poncho. Yes, medicine. That's gonna net me three points, so that's nice. Total points. Your current status, blah blah, your membership is gold. 6,918 points. Shit. <coughs> Yeah, that's like it's that's like six hundred thousand. I I know that, and it's that's not. Oh no, se almost seven hundred thousand. Holy shit! Fuck. Yeah, it's cheesecake. Gives the viewers an unfriendly message. What do you mean unfriendly? I had to go take a shit. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so here's my problem, is that I need to figure out a way to get rid of this BI without actually... Without taking any medicine. You has no mask. Yeah, I know. I took my mask off for a second to uh, see my uh, see my my bee sting. Get midged. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. This green refrigerator. Oh, it's a retro fridge. Sell some shit real quick. Alright. Let's go buy all these carpets. Also, I need Vesta to go back to her house. So this is like... Oh, did I sell my mask by accident? No, I didn't. Really quick, just because I want to see how much points I have. Alright. 60... 6,700. Exactly. Alright. Can I afford the Mario Kart yet? I could. 
Honey, I can buy a Mario Kart. Look, it's a Mario Kart. Actually, what I was saving up for for a very long time. That's gonna go good in my Mario room, but... Okay, did Vesta go back to our house? She did not. Fuck. Alright, hold on. So here's what I'm gonna do, real quick. My mom, my mom's asking us if she could bring anything to uh, dinner tonight. Like chips or something, maybe. Put Midge in a cage. This is not, uh, this is not New Horizons, unfortunately, so I can't do that, but... Oh, apparently she said that I said five. Oh, okay. I don't remember telling her five, but okay. Right. I don't remember telling her that. Right. Yes. In case of an emergency? No, I... Also, I'm the fucking, um... I'm the, I'm the fucking, whatchamacallit guy. I'm the carpool guy. Monday? They didn't give me a time. Uh, Mike Moore Miles. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't, and I'm I'm sort of freaking out about that. Hey, the uh, the amount of money that you have in the bank, you got a little bit of interest. That's cool. So apparently you can pick up the phone in the attic and call Tom Nook and uh, change uh, the color of your flag. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. <coughs> Sell Midge on the flea market, I wish. Alright, so is Pearl still sick? She is. Okay, cool. Alright, so I have a thing of medicine for her. Oh shit, I got lucky. Hey Kitty.
Vesta is still not in her house. You can sell me on the flea market. Oh, it's Springtrap. What up, dude? Got it, all right. All right, so really quick, let's go uh, take a bus to the city real quick and get Haley that haircut that she wants. Yeah, you're right. I don't like this color either. Why? Uh, I don't remember why or how I got that. Uh, do you have to take like a fucking personality quiz and they're just like, this is the color that suits you. This is not the color that suits me. Yeah, you can't just like pick the color and that's something that they rectified in later games. Like, the very next Animal Crossing, which uh, was a uh, new leaf on the 3DS in 2013, um, they they definitely fixed that. That's like one of the first things that they fixed. <laughs> My mom has buns. Oh, holy shit, it's Blue Jay! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, it, that would be very interesting, but I'm going to drop a little bit of nerd knowledge on you. No, in, huh? No, I'm good. All right. In almost every single comic book, it's always like the Mask of Zorro or some shit. That's funny. I know, you know, I know, I know, I know. I Listen, I, I hear you, and it's it. I do think it's funny. I do think it's funny, and I'm going to agree with you on that. <laughs> There's a very real possibility with Space Jam. Jesus Christ. Okay, so here's the personality quiz. Your options are, what style are you going for? Cute, grown up, or unique? Is that your final answer? Well, I feel like I'm going to say unique instead of giving me another hair color I don't like. Yeah. Okay, so cute. Or unique. Well, I'll, I can deal with cute. It's 3,000 per haircut. Cool. I can, if it gives me any color is better than fucking hair. Alright, so cute. Okay. Well, she gives me orange hair. Like that. Yes, that would be very nice. She gives me orange hair. <laughs> After all, adding a touch of cuteness is a nice boost to any look. So do you think that matches your personality? Not at all or to a T. Sure. Not at all or to a T? Sure, yeah. Which? To a T, I mean, thank, oh, yes. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Do you have a main squeeze? <laughs> yeah. Is that your answer? No. Okay. Goodness, kids grow up so fast these days. All right, Shug. Uh, I think I should have pretty much nailed what you're going for. All right. To finish up, what direction do you want to go with your hair color? Okay. Something warm or something cool? It is winter. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, I didn't see what the thing, what it said, because it's covering up by the text bubble. So which one of these do you want to go, what direction do you want to go with? Safe, lighthearted, fiery, flirty, or something else? I like flirty. Flirty? Okay, we're ready to style. Okay, so let's take that funky bed head. 
Yeah, if you don't play the game for a while, you, your hair looks like this, and you kind of have to get a go to the salon. Oh, cool! All right, that'd be three thousand bucks. No, I you you were wearing glasses. Oh. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the the part. Like, look look at the way that it's parted. Yeah, I can look at it. All right. And it matches your hat that I have. How did I know he was going to give me pink hair? You got this fabulous hat. Would you like the hat? This was expensive. I don't like the color, but yeah. I got it at Gracie Grace. That's a, that's a bit, um... Too much? With the glasses. Alright. The weird aunt at the funeral, okay. What other one? Yeah. I was trying to find something at Gracie Grace that was really cute. <coughs> yeah, this, yeah. Wait, so let me see how much how much this was. Good eye on the elegant hat. How much is it? 30% off. Holy shit, that's more than what it was. Wait, they had a 20% off sale. Shit. Okay. It's on display right now. Handcraft about how much? It's on sale, oof. Here's the problem though, the longer I wait, I, I know why it's on sale, it's cause it's just like, we need to get rid of this shit if, for the preparation of the spring stuff, cause this is still, I think, the winter stuff. They have four sets, they have this set, the spring set, the summer set, and you know, the fall set. And the longer you wait, the cheaper it is, but the more chances are it's sold out. Cause like, look at all of that shit that's sold out. The wallpaper is sold out. Fuck. And that's like the only way to afford this stuff, cause like otherwise this stuff is like over like 200 grand per piece. Jesus. All right. Also you have this nice masquerade mask. How much is it? It's on sale for 30% off. I actually, cause again, in order to complete the uh, catalog, I need to buy all this shit, but I'm waiting until I max out the bell counter to do it. Cause once you do that, you get a you get an ATM in your house, and I'm just like, all right, yeah, that's fucking cool shit, dude. Oh hey, it's Tutu. Yeah, I'm trying to max out the bell counter, but it's slow going. I like how I did the math where if you bought the turnips for their cheapest buy price and sold them for their highest sell price and you, uh, if you, I, I don't remember how many turnips exactly you need, but you would have to do it like three weeks in a row, buy them at their cheapest and sell them at their most expensive. And you need to do that three weeks in a row. Um, you'd max out the bell counter in three weeks. And because you can't time travel, you know. So yeah, that would suck horrifically, but at least you can do it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of upset that you don't like the hat. That's all right. But you do like your new haircut? Yeah, All right. All right, Vesta is still not in her house, and that bothers me. Vesta. 
Oh shit, there's stuff in the there's stuff in the recycling bin. A vision tester and a gyroid. This isn't necessarily a hat, but it's a wig. But do you, but did you like but did you like the the bun wig? I just like I like the little buns. <laughs> You want to make you put your glasses on again? Well, yeah, it's just because of the graphics. I know you told me. Yeah, but at least you get to pick and choose. Yeah, that is true. At the very least, you get to pick and choose. So I fucked around long enough. <coughs> Shit. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully enough time has passed, cause like I did save the game and quit out. You sh my 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 bee sting should heal. Well, cause like I don't wanna waste a thing of medicine that I could potentially give to um uh Pearl. Yeah. She's sick and I need to give her medicine. She's been sick for like a week, and it's just like I need more medicine. I can only give her one per day, and it's just like, fuck. Huh? Yeah, I know. That actually sums up two, the, the fucking last three years perfectly. Yeah, can you believe that it's almost been two years, and people are still just like, ah, zombie noises. Ah. I, I was really hoping for a zombie apocalypse, but... Hey, my eyes healed. Sweet. Awesome. Now people will talk to me. I was really hoping that my eye would heal. Okay, so let's not shake trees anymore. Oh, hey, Joan's over there now. Awesome. Okay, so I need to hurry because I don't, um... I don't want people coming into my house and be like, Oh, hey, it's the flea market. Is this for sale? No, fuck off. Oh, hey, I have medicine in my house. Okay, so I have four red turnip seeds. That, uh, 16 grand per, uh, that's like, what? 60, 64,000? That's when they're fully grown. And I only get one per week. Here, really do, quick, do me, do me a math real quick. Um, if I got one, what? Do me quick? Yeah, no. No, what I was gonna say was, uh, do uh, some math real quick for me. Um, 16,000, uh, times 52, if I got one per week. Holy shit, alright. And I can also get interest on that, too. You got some interest on the stuff that's in your savings. I don't know what the, the interest is on the savings. I really don't. Because, like, it's, it's a percentage. Because, like, every now and then I'll get a letter in the mail. Like, oh, hey, you got interest. I'm like, awesome, sweet. Yeah. I got two mil in the bank right now. So it's just, like, I'll get, like, however much. Like, 20 grand. Here's your medicine. Oh, she's still sick. I hope I recover soon. Damn it, she's still sick. <coughs> I've given her like four medicines. If you move out, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, so let's go talk to Poncho, see if I can't give Poncho a Poncho. And also, is Vesta in her house? She's still not. Damn. Vesta's got some shit that I want to buy on the flea market, but... All 
All right, well, Poncho's at least home. Does Poncho have anything that I want to buy? Probably not. He's got that gyroid, but I don't really give a shit about the gyroid. Hey, Poncho. You showed up. Cool, don't be shy. You see anything you like? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, well, he he's not going to want to take my t-shirt that I got for him. I totally called it. I knew you'd be into that. All right. My tall drop Lloyd. Uh, it's crazy handy, blah, blah, the price. All right, I was going to offer him, you know, a thousand bucks for it. Sure. Fucking jit me out of, you know. What What is this plant? What is this plant? What is this called? It's a, called a rubber tree. Okay. How does $600 sound? It's a steal without the jail time. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I like that phrase. No kids at our wedding? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. The ruby. Oh, shit. I don't have this. Damn it. All right. What about this bed? You want to send me the bed? The modern bed. I know I have the modern bed. Oh, that's actually way cheaper. Eh. No. No, I'm sorry, man. Hey, Poncho. You know, I mean, my best bet, because like, I was just going to give it to him for free, but how much would I bet if I put it up at my house, Poncho was like, oh, hey, can I buy this? I'm like, sure, take it. I've been trying to give it to you for a week. I just want to give Poncho a Poncho. It would be adorable. Yeah, dude, Poncho. Wearing a Poncho. Man, this little island looks so deserted without house on it. Oh, hey, Octavian is home. You know, I'm just gonna go around and see who's home, see what they're selling. Or see what they got, at least. I don't know if they're gonna sell it to me, but I'll see what they got. Holy shit. All right. I already got the UFO, I know that, but I don't think I have this clock. I have that asteroid, I have, I think that satellite. The only thing I don't think I have is that chair or that clock. Who would have thought Octavia and the octopus would be into, um... Oakley says, yo, what up, man? Yo. Let me get this robo clock, man. Six hundred bucks, sure. I'll buy. Shrink to the size of a blueberry and let people hold you. It's not haunted. Okay, well that's a hell of a way to sell something to somebody, asshole. It's haunted. Woo, spooky. All right, so this person's not home. Is Truffles home? Yeah, Truffles is home. Spooky haunted clock. Okay, so oh, she's got some shit, you know. Okay, I don't. I know I don't have this lamp. The was it the regal lamp? Uh. Is that Robo Clock haunted? Yeah, that's what he said. He said the Robo Clock is haunted. Yeah, I have a Robo Clock that uh, apparently is haunted. My regal lamp is not for sale. All right, well then, what about this gyroid? The Mega Tutoid. Okay. Oh, I like that yeah. yeah, I like that lamp too. I I'm trying to get the regal stuff. Man. All right, fine. Yeah, no, she she's got like the lovely stuff, which you have this and you also have this. 
Alright, is the regal stuff for you? Or do you just want it? Uh, no, I just go for the catalog. Oh. As soon as it goes into your pocket, the game says, oh, you own this. Okay, cool. Now you can go buy it from the catalog. Mm. It's like, all you need to do is just have it in your pocket, and then, you, you know, you get to keep it. I already have that bonsai. Ooh, the gold chair. Any price. Blah, blah, blah. Polish down. Blah, blah, blah. No, okay so, she, okay, so she won't sell me that. Fuck. Oh, actually, you can have anything, but not that or that or that or that. Yeah, that's why I don't like the fucking... I don't have that. Can't go wrong at this point. 800 bucks? Okay, I'll take it. I know for a fact I don't have that. Is Midgelet home? <laughs> Midgelet. All right, yeah, she won't give me that lamp. I want, I want the lamp. Dude, it took me forever to get the modern bed, so now I have all the modern stuff. And that's a very good question. Is Midge home? Nope, she's not. You know, honestly, I was too I was too focused on Pearl being sick. I didn't even take a look at the stuff in her house. Not like I could buy it anyway, but. <coughs> Is it? It looks it looks like it's smaller actually. Alright. Yeah, no, Midge is not home. It is completely red, and I'm very looking forward to picking the seeds out of that. I'm gonna pick the seeds out of it and put it in a mason jar just so you know they they stay fresh for you know the, the actual planting season. Yeah, no, I'm not looking forward to that haunted, the, the haunted, uh, clock. I mean, to be fair, he's probably just talking shit, but... No, I don't know. Do you know how you get Wisp in this game? You have to find his little genie lamp, and then once you pick up the lamp, like, you have to, um, at night, go to City Hall, and you, you hear, like, a weird call from the lamp, where, like, the lamp starts vibrating in your pocket, and then you need to take it to your attic in your house, and he will grant you one wish, and he's just like... He will either give you an expensive piece of furniture, um, a rare item, or just clear your town of weeds. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. I don't mind the- I don't mind the weed thing. It's just like, I can do the weeds myself, but you need to keep your town weed free for 15 days. And then you get the- the gold watering can and, uh, I think a Jacob's Ladder. What, the gold watering can? Do you know what the Jacob's Ladder is in Animal Crossing? Yeah. You only get one. And I think it's impossible to kill, keyword being, I think. I don't want to test that. <laughs> yeah. You also, I only think, get one per character. <coughs> but yeah, no, and the Jacob's Ladder is... It's like the, the, the trophy flower. This just like, it's like, oh my God, the Jacob's Ladder. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ugh. Put the cookie down. Now. So oh yeah. And I also like how they had Darth Vader as the, the kid. Yeah. Did we ever figure out who that actor was that wanted to bang his wife? He just looks like that movie douchebag. He really does. Yeah. A very horny Ned Flanders. It's like, I understand that Ned Flanders isn't exactly celibate because he has, you know, children. Uh, it's just like... A, a, that's only in the Treehouse of Horror. Those, uh, those episodes are widely considered to be non-canon, so I, you know what, I can agree with that. But yeah, no, he was the he was the devil in um, the Treehouse of Horror episodes, and when Homer finds this out, he goes, "Wait a minute, you're the devil," and he goes, "You're the last person. I'm the last person you would have expected, right?" <laughs> and apparently Bart knew the whole time, cause like the 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 one episode that I love this episode so much is like my favorite Treehouse of Horror. Um, he trades his soul for a donut. 
and he, um, he's, he's just like, I'm only able to, um, uh, collect your soul after you finish the donut. And Homer actually outsmarts the devil. And he's like, oh, so all I need to do is just not finish this last bite and you don't get my soul. He goes, well, I outsmarted the devil. I outsmarted the devil. It was, Mark my words, Homer Simpson. I will get your soul. And then, like, fast forward a few hours later, he's, like, asleep and, like, sleepwalking. That He opens the fridge and goes, mmm, forbidden donut. And he just eats it. And the devil pops up to try and steal his soul. He goes, oh, no. And Marge is like, did you eat that forbidden donut? Maybe. And then, like, the whole family comes into the kitchen. And the, uh, Ned Flanders just looks at Bart and she goes, what's up, Bart? He goes, hey, Ned. Because he knew. He knew. I was just like, you know your dad doesn't like Ned Flanders. Why wouldn't you tell him that he's the devil? Oh man. Yeah, but Dinkelberg wasn't wasn't like never Satan, right?